Hey, algebra students, this is another one of those uh, examples from two-step equations that I am so excited to do with you because even though it's advanced, it's not nearly as challenging as it looks. It's one of those things where students just panic and lose their snot. And really, it's very simple if you understand the simple concepts from this lesson. Let's take a look. It says, Albert Einstein's theory of relativity states that the energy found in a moving object known as kinetic energy, can be found using the equation E equals mc squared, where m is the mass of the object and c is the speed of light. Solve the equation for c, the speed of light. Now, the first thing, you know, doesn't look too bad, you know, solve the equation. We know the equation E equals mc squared, and they're telling me to solve the equation for C, meaning they want me to get C alone so I can know what it's equal to. But right here is where students get tripped up. There's no numbers. <laughs> they're like, I don't know what E is. I don't know what M is. How am I supposed to solve this sucker? And this is what's known as a literal equation. You don't need to know that name for the test. But basically, it's when we have to move around unknown numbers variables right variables or letters in math they're they're numbers i mean they're mystery numbers numbers we don't know but they're still numbers which means they're going to behave the exact same way as if we did know what e and we did know what m were okay so we can do this okay let's go let's solve for c so i'll just will remind you that if we're solving for C, that means C is the number that we want to have alone, okay? So do me a favor, if this is new to you, or, you know, I don't know, if you want to vomit right now, two things, let's draw that little line through that equal sign. No, this is not part of your math grammar. That line for you is so you can clearly see the left-hand side from the right-hand side, so you can avoid a lot of common student errors. And then I want you to just come in and color whatever letter you're trying to get alone. C is the thing that we're trying to get alone. So it is going to stay solid. We're not going to move it. We're going to leave it be, but we're going to move everything away from it. And we're going to take all the other numbers, all the other operations away. So you can see that there's two things happening to C right now. We have this M shoved against C, which means the M is multiplying. And we have this exponent on C, okay? So it's being squared. Now remember, when we're solving, we're moving things away. We use the order of operations backwards because we're doing opposites. We're getting rid of math, okay? So there's nothing adding or subtracting with C, but there is something multiplying. So let's get rid of the multiplier first. Now, what thing is multiplying with C? Well, the M that mystery number M is shoved up against the C squared, so it is multiplying. I will get rid of M by doing the opposite, by dividing by M, okay? So as of yet, you should not have panicked. This looks just like what we've been doing. And let's focus on the right-hand side first, since that's not usually the part that stresses you guys out. Multiplying by M and dividing by M are opposites. Whatever M is, I've done the opposite, so it does cancel. C squared is what's left on the right-hand side. But what throws you guys, what panics you guys, what makes you guys want to vomit is you say to me, but Kate, I don't know what E divided by M is. And I say, okay, well, that means less work for you. That's cool. If you don't know what it is, just write it down. Whatever it is, E over m that's it you just leave it there if you don't know what it is in algebra you don't do it okay i always joke that the difference between my a students and my b students is my a students know when to go home and sip some tea okay my b students try to do all kinds of nonsense to do things that can't be done so if i don't know what e divided by m is i just leave it there now is this thing solved. Well, it is not solved because that letter I have been told to solve for C is still not alone. There's this operation that's working on C right now. C is still being squared. So I need to do the opposite of 
square. Do you remember what the opposite of the exponent two is? Well, it is square root. Put that radical over the top of it. Now, some of you guys know that when you use radicals later in math, you have to account for the fact that there's two answers, a positive and a negative answer, uh, but it doesn't matter in this context. This real world context will never have negatives, and so I don't have to worry about that. I'll just go ahead and take the square root of the other side, and if everything I just said to you about negatives just rolled over your head, don't worry about it. That's not on the GED, okay? So square uh, it's not on the GED test. <laughs> square and square root cancel their opposites. C is alone like I wanted. And then you say to me, Kate, what is the square root of E over M? And I say, I don't know. So I just write the square root of E over M. I do make sure that square root Okay, it goes over the entire expression. Square root is one of those things that you have to square root the entire side, not part of it, okay? So nice and tall square root symbol to go over the whole thing. Uh, but I am done, like there's nothing else I can do here since I don't know what E and M are. This thing is solved. Now with literal equations especially, we usually do like the letter on the left. It's not wrong if you leave it this way, okay? Just, just, we like, it with the letter on the left just so it's really clear what c is since it's a more complex expression here so c is the square root of e over m so basically this just says if i wanted to find c i could do this work but that being said that sucker solved nice okay really not as complex as it looks, okay? So we're doing the exact same thing. We're doing opposites to get rid of letters. And if we don't know how to deal with the letters, we just leave them exactly the way they look and stop with the panic attack. All right, you guys, nice job. If you have any questions about this, be sure to post it to our Facebook group so you can get the help you need <laughs> in a decent amount of time. And um, besides that, if you're good to go, strong work, happy learning.